There is a cultural belief in the West that menopause is an unavoidable horror. Prepare yourself, dig in, because this is going to be a wild ride. The hot flashes, sleep deprivation, fatigue, brain fog, hair loss, and the sense that everything is falling apart are seen on the horizon, headed for us, and we dread it. We feel helpless. These are the stories we hear and the way many women experience menopause, perhaps because it is what we are expecting. But why should this be so? Why would nature create our bodies to suddenly unravel and leave us feeling lost and diminished just when we are in the prime of our lives? In a woman's biological story, the times of hormonal change are often a bit challenging to navigate. Things are shifting on a deeper level than just our bodies, and we know this intuitively. We tend to think of ourselves as the same person throughout our life, someone that changes are happening too. But in a very real sense, our hormones literally change us into a different being at each juncture of our life as a woman. In the same way that a caterpillar and butterfly have exactly the same DNA, but are very different creatures, we also go through a metamorphosis at times of hormonal change, and do best if we embrace our new state of being rather than resisting or just trying to adapt. All of these times of change in our lives fit together and build, one upon the other. So in order to navigate our menopause, we must also understand the earlier phases of our lives and how they connect to what is happening now, because they impact strongly what kind of menopause we will experience. Unfortunately, menopausal women in Western culture are marginalized, made to feel less than. And make no mistake, cultural expectation is very powerful. For example, I once read about a primitive culture that held the belief that when women stopped menstruating, they would die. So the women in that tribe menstruated well into their 70s. Their bodies complied. Whether or not the story is actually true, the principle is. In cultures where social status increases after menopause and there is no negative connotation to elderhood, Women do not experience what we think of as menopausal symptoms to the same degree that Western women do, if at all. In other words, our bodies, minds, and beliefs are one.